Buckle up, because you're in for another fun mud pool run. Lalo na kapag ang A, na, ang A doon sa quadratic trinomial ay not equal to 1, okay? But uh, wala na tayong dapat pang alalahanin because etong method na to, the box method, is really uh, parang very effective and very easy na uh, para ano ba ang magsod ng isang quadratic trinomial? Paano mag-factor ng isang quadratic trinomial? Ayan, so without further ado, ayan, so let's have our example number 1. You have... 3x squared plus 14x plus 8. Ayan. So, una, dapat siguraduhin mo na yung quadratic trinomial ay nasa standard form. Ayan. ax squared plus bx plus c. Tapos, tinitingnan mo kung meron pa silang uh, greatest common factor. So, so far, we have 3, 14, and 8. So, 3, 14, and 8. They are all uh, relatively prime with one another. Which means that the common factor is, para yung common factor lang nila ay 1 lang. Wala nang iba. Ayan. So, pag nasa na yun, para kasi mula natin yung box method, syempre kailangan natin ng isang box. Ayan. So, gagawa. Yun yung step 1. Gagawa ka ng box. Ayan. Go by to read. So, ayan. Ayan. Meron ka ng box. Pagkatapos mo gumawa ng isang box, ipipili natin yung una at saka yung huling uh, square. So, ang lalagay mo dito ay ang first term mo, which is 3x squared. Tapos, dito naman sa dulo ng box mo, ang ilalagay ay A. Ayan. So, first step, gagawa ng box. Second step, ilalagay yung first term dito sa una. Tapos, yung constant number ay nasa dulo ng uh, grid mo. Next, the third step is to multiply these two terms. Ayan. So, you have 3x squared times 8. That will give you 24x squared. Ayan. So, pagkatapos mo yung multiply ngayon, Pukuha tayo, or ipa-factor out natin si 24x squared. Tapos, uh, yung factors niya, pipili tayo din sa mga factors niya. Nakapag in yun, ang magiging sabot nila ay ang middle term ng ating quadratic trinomial. So, for this case, dapat, yung, yung factors ng 24, it should sum up to uh, 14. Alright? So, ano ang ang mga factors ng 24x squared? So, simulan na natin siya. Pero, na sa lista natin ang 3 sa 8. So, since x squared yan, naglalagyan lang natin ng x yung dalawang factor. So, we have the factors. We have, syempre, you have 3x saka 8x. Ano pa? You also have um, 6x saka 4x. Tapos, meron din tayong um, 12x saka 2x. And lastly, you have 24x saka x lang. Ayan. So, pag natas natin mga naging factors, ipag-aad na natin dapat yung sum nila ay again 14x. So, tingnan natin. 3x plus 8x is thus 11x. So, hindi na siya kasama. Next, 6x plus 4x is thus 10x. So, hindi na rin siya kasama. You have 12x plus 2x. So, this is equal to 14. Ayan. 14x. Ibig sabihin, yan yung uh, kukunin natin factors ni 24x squared. So, ayan. Susulat na natin yung dito sa dalawang uh, empty boxes natin. Uh, the order doesn't matter kung para kung sa kung siya gustong ilagay. Parehas lang naman din yung magiging sagot. Ayan. So, let's have you have 12x tapos 2x. Now, what's very interesting here is that hindi ko nilagay yung 14x kung mapapansin niya dito sa box. Instead na siya mismo, ang nilagay ko ay dalawang numbers. Alright? Dalawang numbers na pag pinagat ko, ito ko rin yung magiging sagot. Tama? We have 12x and then 2x. Ayan. So, pag tapos na, kung ito na yung mga values dun sa boxes mo, ito na yung final step. Ayan. So, paano? Ang kailangan namin gawin dito ay hanapan lang natin ang greatest common factor, ang bawat rows at bawat columns. Ayan. So, let's start. Rows muna. So, kung ito, pag ganito, what is the greatest common factor of 3x squared and 12x? It is 3x. Alright. Next. Dito naman, sa baba. What about dito? 2x tsaka 8. Ano yung greatest common factor nila? You have 2. Alright? Next. What about 3x squared and 2x? Ano yung common factor lang nila? You have x lang. Ayan, apa. Ganun naman. Next. You have 12x and 8. Ano yung common factor ni 12x tsaka 8? It is 4. Okay? So, ayan. Meron na tayong factors. Isa. And we have this one. Di ba lahat naman positive is positive dito. So, ibig sabihin, therefore, okay, therefore, we can say that 3x squared plus 14x plus 8 is thus equal to the product of these two factors. You have 3x minus 2 times, I'm sorry, plus 2, and then you have x plus 4. Okay. And so, we're, all right. 
Okay, yung factors ng quadratic trinomial na to, okay, ay merong magkaibang sign. May positive at may negative. Now, the next question is, ano ang dapat kong gawing negative at ano yung dapat na maging positive? Napakasimple lang yung sagot. Ang titignan mo lang ay yung middle term. Okay, so kung ano yung sign ng middle term, since ito negative, ibig sabihin, yung mas mataas na factor, dapat yun yung may negative na sign. Alright, so let's try um, looking for the factors of 30x. Okay, so syempre, ayan, season 5. Una na yan sa listahan natin. So you have the factors are, okay, so you have um, 6x times 5x. Alright, so between 6x and 5x, which is greater? Obviously, it is 6x. So si 6x yung lalagyan mo ng negative sign. Okay, ano pa? Ano pa yung mga um, factors na negative 30x? x squared. So, you have mm, negative 15x tsaka 2x. Ano pa? Mm, so, pwede din dito ang uh, negative 10x times 3x. Tama? Okay, and pwede din dito ang negative 30x tsaka x lang. Uh, in reality, hindi nyo naman talaga kailangan installan dito. Kung mabilis nyo mahanap yung dalawang factors na ano, pag pinag-add ninyo ay yung middle term agad yung sagot, mas, ano yun, mas mabuti yun. Okay, so, just for the sake na talagang uh, maipakita, gusto ko lang ipakita lahat sa inyo ng possible factors. And out of these factors, isa lang kasi yung pipiliin natin. Alright? So, pinapakita ko lang yung process kung paano nakukuha yung tamang uh, set of factors. Alright, so let's start. Ayan. So, negative 6x plus 5x, that is just negative x. So, ibig sabihin, this is already excluded sa uh, option natin. Next. Negative 15x plus 2x is negative 13x. So, hindi na rin siya kasama. Okay? Negative 10x plus 3x. Okay? So, I think na nasa natin yung tamang factor. Kasi negative 10x plus 3x will give us negative 7x. Which is our middle term. Okay? Kung magpukuntinyo pa ako dito, negative 30x plus x is negative 29. So, hindi na rin siya kasama. Alright. So, nalala na natin. Ayan na. Next, ipapwesto mo na sila dito sa grid mo. Again, the order doesn't matter. Kahit saan mo sila ilagay, para sa'yo magiging sagot natin. Okay, so let's have, you have uh, 3x and you have negative 10x. Alright, so ang final step natin is to get the GCF per rows at per uh, columns. So let's start with this. Yan, magkaiba yung, yung sign natin na may negative tapos may positive. So, uh, para to avoid confusion, siguro yung GCF natin, i-take muna natin na positive. Saka na lang natin i-decide kung ano yung uh, dapat palitan natin ng sign. Okay, so, anong uh, common factor, positive common factor ng 6x squared tsaka negative 10x? It is positive 2x. Okay, next. Dito naman. Okay, anong positive common factor ni 3x at tsaka ni negative 5? Relative difference sila kung pananalo, tama? Ibig sabihin, wala. Okay, next. Per column naman. So, anong positive factor, greatest common factor na 6x squared tsaka 3x? It is 3x. Next. Pag pababa dito, negative 10x, negative 5. Ito parehas na sila ng sign. So, I will be carrying the negative sign already. Alright. So, anong common factor ni 10x tsaka ni 5? It is equal to 5. Ayan. So, iti-check natin ngayon kung tama na ba yung signs natin. Okay, kasi magkakaya pa sila eh. May positive at may negative. Hindi na natin. Follow kung paano mag-check kung tama na ba. Alright. So, ito. 2x times 3x is equal to 6x squared. So, correct na siya. Wala tayong papalitan na sign. Next. 1 times 3x is 3x. So, wala na rin tayong papalitan. Okay? Ibig sabihin, itong factor na to, tama na ang kanyang sign. So, i-check natin kung tama na rin ba yung sign na to. Okay. So, negative 5 times 2x is negative 10x. So, tama na rin. Next. Negative 5 times 1 is negative 5. So, therefore, wala na rin ako kailangan palitan na sign. Ito ang magiging value ng second factor ko. Which means that I cannot include the 6x squared minus 7x minus 5 is simply equal to the product of we have 2x plus 1 times 3x minus 5. Alright, so that's it my monsters. I hope you have learned something. Sana nakatulong tong video na to para kahit pa paano natutunan yung paano mag-factor out ng isang quadratic trinomial. Ayan. Thank you for watching and See you in my next video. Everybody say, Mud is fun. Alright, bye everyone.
try.